welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make buñuelos. And in case you don't know what a buñuelo is, a buñuelo is a deep fried tortilla that it is covered with cinnamon and sugar. So in case you guys want to learn how I make this easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need 7 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, half a tablespoon of salt, 1 cup of all-vegetable shortening, 3 tablespoons of Mexican vanilla blend, 1 egg at room temperature, 2 cups of sugar, 2 tablespoons of cinnamon, a half a liter of Mexican orange Fanta, and vegetable oil. So these are our ingredients, now let's get started. Alright, so first we're going to start by mixing our flour, our baking powder, and salt all together. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to add our shortening. And we're just going to mix our shortening with our flour. So kind of dissolve your shortening with the flour. Just like that. All right, so once we have dissolved our shortening with our flour, we're going to whisk our egg. Okay, just like that. And we're going to add it with our flour. So we're just going to add it in there and just mix it with our fingers along with our vanilla. And I just mix it all together now. And now we're going to start to pour our soda with our flour. So you wanna go slow. Just go slow, so like that way our flour can be in the right consistency. Yeah, and make sure that your, your soda is at room temperature. Okay, so I'm just going to take it out of my bowl and start kneading it. Okay, so once your flour gets to this consistency, it's a little bit sticky, we're going to knead it. Um, I didn't pour all the soda. This is how much I have left. So now we're just going to knead until our, our flour reaches uh, the right consistency of it. So once it no longer sticks to our hand, that's how we're gonna know that our dough is ready. So knead for about five minutes. All right, so once our flour looks like this, as you can see, it's um, kind of like clay dough. It, it is ready, so now we're just going to let it rest. We're not gonna wait for it to rise. This one is not going to rise. Um, we're just going to let it rest for um, about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to put it in a bowl and cover it with plastic and, and then we'll be back in 20 minutes. And it already smells delicious. All right, so after 20 minutes, this is what your dough looks like. So now we're going to start making little balls as big as a golf ball. So we're going to take it out of here. Just kind of. Okay, so now we're going to make our little balls. So just like you're making tortillas, you know, just make a little circle in your hand or using the countertop, whatever is easier for you. Just make them like that. This one's probably a little too big. Okay, so just make your little circle like that and start placing them on the side. So you're gonna do you're gonna do the same. This is what you're going to do for the rest of your dough. It depends on how big you make, make your buñuelos. It depends, you know, on how many buñuelos you're gonna make out of the dough. Um, normally, when we make it, we make about 25 with this dough. 
but my, my mom was telling me that my grandma used to make them super big you know so of course you're gonna make, you're gonna get less off of it so it just depends on how big you make them all right so after we have made our little balls we're going to get a clean tablecloth and lay it on our table we're going to be rolling out our dough into tortillas and then we're going to lay them flat on our tablecloth so like that is going to help remove all the all of the moisture before we fry them so now let's get rolling. All right, so just get a little bit of extra flour for dusting. Okay, then we're going to get our little ball and start rolling it. As flat as you can, and if you can't, we're still going to use our hands to roll it out because we need them to be thin. So just as if you're making tortillas. And I know a lot of people use their knees. I don't know, my mom. She taught me to do my hands. So after you know we have it like this big, we're going to start rolling the edges and then start turning it. Try not to rip it. I mean, if it rips, it's okay because you can always put it back together. So just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then the middle, pull it apart. Like that, just keep rolling it. And you're gonna notice that this part is gonna be thick and we want it to thin it out. This is time consuming, but once you get it down, it's gonna go fast. Okay, so just keep rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. Just like that. And just try to keep them as in circle, you know? And see how mine is starting to rip? Just kind of put it back to put it back together like that. No problem. Because my nails are kind of ripping them now. Okay, so once we have it out like that, we're going to lay it on our tablecloth. Just lay it on your tablecloth like that. And we're going to start working on the rest of our balls. So I pull out my fan so like that I can speed up the process a little. Um, okay, you can deep fry them, you know, as soon as you're done rolling them out. The only thing is that your buñuelos are going to be super oily. Like they're going to absorb a lot of oil. So my mom said just, well, it's just better for, you know, to air dry. And you're going to know once your um, tortillas are dry by when you touch them and you look at them. Like if you look at them right now, they still have like that glare, you know, from the oil. And then once they dry, they're going to be kind of like hard. Okay, after they after they are completely dry, I'm gonna leave them out for like about 15 to 20 minutes. After that, we're going to flip them over and let the other side dry as well. And then after that, we can start um, deep frying them. So for right now, I'm just going to mix my sugar and my cinnamon together. So like that by the time they're, cause they, they cook in, in less than two minutes. So in two minutes, you know, they're fast. Once this process is over, the rest is super easy. So like that, we have our cinnamon and sugar ready once they're done. So I'm just going to mix that together. And we might not use all of it. So if you wanna just use, start with one cup of sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon, then that's gonna be up to you, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm going to have some of this mixture left over, but it's okay. Uh, it's, all, it's also going to depend, you know, on how much you want to add to your tortilla. And I know some people put piloncillo sauce. Um, I like the cinnamon and the sugar better. And where we're from, that's how we typically make them. So it just depends on where you're from. Like everything, you know. So that's ready. All right, so it is time to flip them over. And you're gonna know when it's time to flip them over because this side, I don't know if you can hear that. You know, and they, they feel dry. 
So just flip them over, and this one's still wet, so you can feel it. So just... And it's okay if you got some ugly ones. Those will put them all the way at the bottom. <laughs> These are the ones that Louis did. It's okay though, it's the help that counts. Alright, so once your tortillas have air dried, we're going to get a big pot that is big enough and deep enough to fit our tortillas. So I'm going to set it on medium high heat and I'm going to add enough oil. So just enough to cover our tortillas. So we're gonna submerge it with oil. So that's basically almost the whole bottle of vegetable oil. So now we're just going to wait for it to get hot enough and then deep fry them. And here I already have my, I have a setup where I'm going to um, place them after I take them out of the oil with some napkins and then over here where I'm going to be setting them up. All right, so before we deep fry our tortillas, we're going to go, I'm gonna go with my fork and just poke it. And this is just going to prevent any air bubbles from forming. All right, so once your oil is hot enough, we're going to place our tortilla and just submerge it with oil. And just try to keep it inside the oil. So like that, a lot of bubbles don't form, you know? Like big bubbles. And we're going to leave it for one minute each side. Just try to keep it under. And once it's golden brown, we're going to flip it over and let the other side cook. And then for this part, it is best to have an assistant to help you, you know, so like that he can bring, <laughs> or she can bring the, the tortillas over, or you're getting done with this one. <laughs> you can bring one at a time. Okay, so once it's golden brown like that, and it's hard, we're going to take it out and place it over here with the paper towel so we can Drain some of the oil. Okay, and then place the other one in. Okay, so now for the other part, we're going to start um, placing the sugar on them. Uh, but anyways, I forgot to mention that you do want to put the sugar um, while they're hot. Okay, just sprinkle your sugar while they're hot so like that it sticks better. You don't want to wait till they cool down. You sit with the food. And the food. Alrighty guys, so our buñuelos are ready and let me tell you that it smells delicious. So now for the best part. The potatoes. Yeah, so we are ready. Look at them, so perfect. And I can already tell you that they're gonna be super crispy. And there is no holiday without buñuelos. Right? <laughs> you ready? Okay, you wanna share one or you wanna have your own? Sure one. Sure one, okay. So you can buy that one. Here, you just have that one. Uh -huh. Look at that, so perfect, so delicious. Okay, you can have that one, and then let me grab another one. I need a plate. It's okay. You need a plate. It's okay. Technical difficulties already. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So let me show you guys, show you that they are super crispy. Hear that? You hear that? Perfection. Perfect. Okay. So now for the best part. The champurrado, hot chocolate, even coffee. You can never go wrong with some buñuelos. Okay, cheers. The best. Seriously, the best. <laughs> mm. Every bite. Super delicious. What? You like them? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you that the kids love this. They love the buñuelos. How was it? 
Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? I only see one. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I seriously hope you guys enjoy this recipe, you know. You give it a try. They are time consuming, but let me tell you that they're super easy to make. And I mean, you can never go wrong with some when you want those. So I hope you guys give it a try. Right? <laughs> delicious. Okay, delicious. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. And grandma. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and there you have it, super easy and delicious buñuelos. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, and also share it with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.